So, how can we bring space down to Earth for our kids to get excited about it? Today, we're learning the basics of astronomy from the science store. HMF Beagle's Leaf Ball is here. Um, where did you get the name, by the way? Because wasn't Beagle... That was uh, a ship that Darwin sailed on. For Okay, so there you go. Uh, let's get started on what we just looked at was Mars. Mm -hmm. None of us have the real power. None of us can really afford the capability of seeing that close onto Mars, right. obviously. But how close can we really get with some of the telescopes nowadays to some of the planets and major stars and um, star clusters out there? Well, it's getting uh, more and more affordable and, and more and more detailed. People are able to take better and better pictures here on the ground. And some of those are rivaling the, the Hubble Space Telescope. But uh, that's you know, expert, expert area. Exactly. So, yeah. How many kids versus how many adults come into the store because they're just in awe of space? Well, we have a lot of kids come into the store. We have a science club for kids and uh, we have about 300 members in, in that science club. So a lot of kids come in and a lot of adults. Okay, so we're going to start on this end to kind of come up with some ideas of what you could possibly buy your kids. Because I know a lot mm -hmm. of parents kind of cringe a little bit. Yeah. Kids have a tendency to like something and then you know, a year later, they won't even touch it. So what is right. this, this is for people a, at home? This is a four and a half inch reflector telescope. It has a mirror in the, in the bottom that reflects the image back up to the eyepiece. And it sells for less than $200. And it's a good size telescope. It's um, not too small, so you're not gonna be disappointed with the images. How close, like, give me an example of what we could see pretty well. I mean, if, if we could see um, Venus at night, uh, Venus actually moves, goes through phases like the moon, so you'll be able to see those phases. Um, the moon, of course, would look spectacular. You can see the rings of, of Saturn. It would be nice. Does this come with, because my little, like again, I had a very generic, very small telescope, but mine came with the map of the moon, so when I looked at the moon, I could identify what I was seeing. Do mm -hmm. you sell maps like that, too? We do. We really? Do. Good deal. Okay, what is this? These look like binoculars to me. <laughs> right, they're binoculars, but um, a lot of people don't think of binoculars as astronomical instruments, but they allow you to see a lot more than you can see with, with your naked eye, and they do surprisingly well. Okay, so if I'm somebody who um, uh, comments going by and I don't have a telescope to watch the comet, and I want a little closer view, I could just pull out my binoculars? Yes, absolutely. Very nice. Okay, what's next? This is called the Sky Scout. And this is um, almost alien technology. This runs on GPS and has um, sensors in it so it knows which way that it's moving. So you can point it at something in the sky that you don't know what it is, and then you click on the button. And over here on the screen, it will tell you what you've looked at. There are oh. little arrows in here that, that point your way. So if you're looking for something, you can type in Saturn, and it will show you which way to move. Or, little, I think I'm looking at the Little Dipper, but I want to make sure it's the mm -hmm. Little Dipper. I can double check. Yes, how, exactly. How, how much does this cost? This is $3.99. That sounds interesting. Okay, and then I'm guessing this is a little bit of the Big Daddy This option. is a little bit more advanced. It's the same size scope, so you'll get roughly the same image through either. But this is what we call go-to. This, you type in what you want to look at, and it will go to it for you. So it takes a little bit of guesswork. So this out of is it. much more computerized. Yeah. This is much more manual. Yes, okay. Exactly. Uh, by the way, HMS Beagle in Parkville has a star party at the store the first Friday of each month. So the next one is April sixth at sunset. Uh, and several really quick rundown through like three celestial events that are coming up. In the next couple of days, um, the Moon and Venus will be close together right after sunset. You'll you'll see them in the, in the western sky. Um, April nineteenth, uh, the Moon and Venus will be. Uh, together again, but this time with the Pleiades star cluster, which is a naked eye star cluster. Okay. Um, when the binoculars, it'll look great. And then on the April 21st or 24th, uh, the moon will be near Saturn, so that'll help you find Saturn if you don't know where Saturn is. All right. So those are just some good examples of events coming up. So if you want to go get a telescope, you can take a look. By the way, you can get a, a hold of HMS Beagle. I love that Beagle. <laughs> Call 816-587-9998 for information. It is free. Leaf, thanks for coming in. We appreciate yes, thank it. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank <laughs> you. Hey, Italians are known for their pasta, but